My name is Rachel Hunt. I'm with Showbiz Cheat Sheet. And today I have here Nick and Tosca with Jan Broberg. And we're talking about A Friend of the Family, which is a new true crime drama on Peacock. Um, hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I remember the true crime documentary on Netflix. So that was, you know, the first thing that popped in my head. Of course, I think many people watched it on Netflix. So, you know, my first question is, why did you decide to go you know, do it again and do the true crime drama and what's going to be different. So I really admire the documentary. However, when I saw it, I had a whole bunch of questions and I felt like I understood the story from the outside, but not the inside. And I wanted to get deeper into it and understand really how it happened and what it felt like when it happened. And with nine hours and nine episodes to tell the story, we can live it with the family. We can live their experience and experience the slow burn. And rather than just getting a bunch of crazy twists and turns, you also get the context in which it happened and the human experience in which it happened, which is so essential to understanding how it happened. You know, because of the normalcy and the, the community that this guy was able to use and infiltrate. For me, it was really important to tell the story again with that kind of context to show the psychology behind how groomers and predators operate. It's a slow process. They don't just target the child. They target all of the family members, the people around the target. So the fact that everybody you know, knew, trusted, and loved this man and um, he knew exactly how to manipulate every person around my story, as well as me, I think was really important because that's the story that I think millions of other families and children who have been through sexual abuse will relate to. And this was my message is that it's someone close to you. It's someone that you know, that's close. It's not a scary stranger very often. And that's really an important story that I don't think gets told enough. And I guess my story is just crazy enough that it was, it was good for television and for a series. So. And did you ever imagine you would be doing this again? Like after doing the documentary with Netflix, were you like, no, I'm done. I can't go through this again. (laughs) I needed a break because I got so many messages after 30,000 messages coming to me. Thank you for telling your story. Now I have words to tell my story. I can tell my mom what happened with my stepdad or my uncle or my favorite school teacher. When I started getting all those stories and then also getting kind of the, uh, some lashback uh, for my for my parents who were so wonderful. I would never have survived without them. They were naive, but they were good parents, and we had a close family, and we still do. I'm so lucky for that. I knew that the story needed to have another telling. I didn't know that this would happen, and I couldn't be more thrilled. We have an award winning team, cast, wonderful support from the network and from Peacock and all of the people that care about this message getting out in a way that everybody should be able to relate to. That's important to me. That was really important to me. I'm so grateful this happened. (laughs) Actually, I was tired, had to take a break, but I'm back. (laughs) Now I'm starting a foundation and a podcast and have a new book. I mean, it's like, I'm doing it all until we can really make a dent on this kind of familial or familiar abuse, which is the most common and the least talked about and definitely the least prosecuted. I'm I'm ready for it to be out there. And it's great to watch. I have one more question real quick before we wrap up. Um, What about, so there's a small disclaimer that, you know, it's based on real events, but certain parts have been fictionalized a little bit. Can either of you talk about like any little details that were added? Because when I watched it, um, you know, it it seems very true to what, you know, I've seen and heard so far. There's very little that was added. The only changes that we made were when we had to condense things for time, but we had so much. And because Jan was so involved and her family was so involved and it was a real partnership, we had access to an almost unbelievable amount of family diaries, FBI records, court transcripts. We had so much. So I would say that, you know, that's a legal disclaimer that we have to include. Um, The show is is pretty, pretty accurate. I mean, you know, Jan can speak to that more than I can, but we we tried to be very, very, very close to what we had 
access to. Yeah. And it honestly, that's the only thing when I have watched too. And there's those moments where, you know, Nick's on one side and my son's on the other side and they're gripping my hands, you know, as we're watching, it's because it's so realistic and every actor just brought their A game to, to the, the richness of these characters that are real people who experienced something unthinkable that they never saw coming. We lived in such a safe, you know, environment, uh, you know, small town you know, America, <laughs> it was not ever something we were looking for, or we thought could happen. And I told the story and I've told my story for 32 years because I know it's so common. It really is the person next door or in your home. And so that's just so wonderful to only know we had to condense things. There's even more, you know, of the story that, you know, we're going to try to give access to people, to super fans that want more. We're, we're trying to organize all of those other things that maybe got left out in the podcast or in document form that we're going to release. And so it's, it's a lot, but it, it's relatable. That's the thing. People have this in their home. They have this in their lives. They know someone close to them or it happened to them. It's and I would just add that there are a few supporting characters or minor people who we change the names and some details just to protect people who are, you know, involved, but innocent and are still alive. Yeah. But other than that, you know, it is as close as it can be. Yep. 